What is up, my Atlanteans? <laughs> For today's very special video, I wanted to document my first time repainting a Monster High doll. I will admit that it's not the best, but um, I tried my best, so I feel like that should count for something, right? After boiling her head in for like 30 seconds, I rip her head off successfully. I'm very proud of myself for that. Then I'm going to aggressively brush the crap out of her hair. I'm going to get all the knots out. This is the 100% acetone I'll be using. I just got it from the closest grocery store to my house. Then I decided it was a good idea to test out um, how I'm going to wrap her head. So before putting the acetone, I took some paper towel, tissue paper really, and I put that around her hair. Then I took some pins just to securely keep it in place. So next, I take a Q-tip to her face paint with some 100% acetone and I use an upward scooping motion to take the face paint off and it seems to work very effectively, so I appreciate this technique. Then here is her face without the face paint and a little bit of soap and water. Look at that quality sculpt. Then to prep her for her face up, I'm going to rewrap her head with the same tissue paper and this time with some plastic as well that I recycled from a plastic bag. Then I plop her head onto a chopstick. Then I get on spraying. The primer I'm using isn't gonna be Mr. Super Clear just cause I couldn't find it anywhere near me. I spray her face about three times before letting her dry for about 30 minutes to an hour, just in case. Here are my Dermot watercolors that I got specifically for repainting some dolls some white acrylic paint and some red acrylic paint. Then I use a lighter brown color just to map out her face. Then I take a teeny tiny bit of white acrylic paint and I start painting in her eyeballs. Here is my X-Acto knife. And because it is paint on plastic, I found that the easiest way to uh, fix any mistakes is just by scratching it off. And it's very easy to take off.
Next, I'm going to take my red and blue watercolor pencils and I'm going to start drawing in some of her eye bags. I'm just trying to make her look as dead as possible. My Halloween costume, I'm actually going to be Thing 2, who got jealous of Thing 1, kills Thing 1, chops his head off, and shrinks it. So this is supposed to be the shrunken head of Thing 1, so I'm going to do my best to make it look as shrunken and dead as possible. <laughs> Then I decide to take some creative liberties and start drawing some veins all over her face with the blue watercolor pencil. Now here you can't really see, but I am working on the actual eye and I'm trying to make it look as gross as possible. So I'm making them look really high up as if they got their head chopped off. Then here I'm taking my brown watercolor pencil to map in the eyebrows. Then I start drawing them in if I like how they look. Then I take a black watercolor pencil and create some dimension by coloring it in a little bit at the ends of the eyebrows. Then I add in the scleras and I paint the inside of the head neck area with some red acrylic just to make it look a little bit more gory. Then I unravel her hair. Then I wrap her hair with a bow. I feel like with most imagery of shrunken heads, their hair is usually tied up in a bow as well and I kind of just want to recreate that and I thought it'd be creepy if I just carried it around like this. And here she is all done. I hope you guys liked this video. I definitely had fun making this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.